Hey everyone, I am so glad you are here with me at Happy Place to Grow. We are doing all things gingerbread lately. Well, it is the holiday season and gingerbread is making gingerbread and working with gingerbread is definitely a really fun activity. It's my favorite. We've been doing a lot of fun activities together. We've read a couple versions of the gingerbread man. We've been sequencing the events in the story and even talking about the characters. I loved working in the kitchen with you and us baking on our baking adventure. And hey, did you check out my latest video? The art project with the gingerbread, stuffed gingerbread cookie pillow. Hey, if not, you need to check these other videos out. It's been really fun. Now today we're going to adventure a little bit further. We're going to take our gingerbread fun and create a science experiment. You know, I love a science. And you know, if you're a scientist, you're asking questions. You don't just take things um, that people say, you know, you don't, it's not that you don't trust people, but your mind is always wondering, what if, what if I do that? Or what if, is that really true? Is that really right? So in the story, the gingerbread, um, in the story, the gingerbread man or gingerbread boy, when the gingerbread man gets to the river bank, he has a problem because all the characters in the story are chasing him. Little old man, little old woman, farmers, horses, cows, whatever version you're reading, maybe chickens, pigs, cats, whatever. And he gets to the river bank and he knows he's a cookie and it's said of cookies. If you dip them into liquid, they will dissolve or melt away. So he understands this being a cookie. If he goes in the water, he might melt away. But the fox is willing to take him across the river should he trust the fox. Of course he does and you know what happens. I have a question though. What if the gingerbread man had actually gotten into the water and tried to swim across? Would he really melt away? And if so, what would that look like? <laughs> so that got my mind to thinking. Let's see if we can do an experiment and test out just what happens when you put a cookie into liquid or water. Is he going to melt away? So as a scientist, I'm thinking about the scientific method, the steps that you do as a scientist when you're asking a question. The first thing you have to do is have a question. So my question is what will happen when a gingerbread cookie is put in liquid? I write that down because, you know, a scientist is always asking questions. They have inquiries. They, they want to know things, but they write down, they take notes. So I have a question. Now I have to test out my question. So before I do that, I want to make a prediction. What do I think will happen when I do my experiment? And I'm going to be writing down what I think is going to happen based on what I know about cookies and liquid, right? But I'm going to be detailed about it. I'm not just going to say, I think the gingerbread cookie will melt. I'm going to add more details as a scientist. You know, I think the gingerbread cookie will dissolve and break into small pieces or I think the gingerbread cookie will melt away into little teeny bits, large bits or small bits. Or I think the gingerbread cookie's head will float off first. So be detailed. And then because, why do you think that? And also when you're doing this experiment, you can think about timing, you know? So when the gingerbread cookie goes into liquid, how long will it take for him to, to dissolve? Now for this science experiment, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need some water and I've got a clear liquid tub so you can see through. Um, this is my little makeshift river. 
And then I also bought some gingerbread cookies. These are like, these are soft cookies, gingerbread cookie cakes, right? And so I bought these. I'm actually going to get another one out because I noticed that one, the little hand is kind of broken off. So let's see if I can open another one here without much fuss. There we go. This one's a whole cookie. That one's, the results could be different or be varied if the cookie's not real solid. This one is. That one felt a little crumbly. And I want this scientific experiment to be well done. So, I'm going to be taking my tub of water. This is my experiment. And you can do this at home too. So, you'll need these a few items. Now, one variation you can do, this water that I have in this tub is warm. So if you're a scientist, you could test out the warm water and then get another cookie and put cold water and see what happens. So there's a lot of fun different ways that you can explore if a gingerbread man will dissolve or melt away, how long it will take, and how it will look when he starts to solving. So there's a lot of variation. So we're gonna be doing this together and you will see the results um, after we get finished. But then you might say, well, I don't wanna do it on my own because I know, but no, scientists, you can change it up. You can use a small tub, a larger tub, tub with cold water. You can get a timer out and you can test out a couple different cookies at the same time. Get a couple tubs of water, see which one melts first. But you're definitely gonna have fun doing this. Here we go. So let's get our gingerbread cookie and let's experiment. He's at the river bank. Oh no, I've got to get in the water because the people and the animals are gonna eat me. And I'm not sure if I can trust that fox. He looks pretty sly and sneaky. I guess I'll just have to swim for it. I'm gonna let him dive in and then we're going to watch the results together. Now, one year I was doing this with my students and one of the students said, you know, Mrs. Davis, a river is moving water. And so we, we picked up the dish and we kind of jiggled it like moving water because we had it on the ground and it was still water, like a pond. But a river is flowing and it's moving. And I thought that was a great way to look at it. Again, if it's a river and the water's flowing, maybe the gingerbread boy would actually break up quicker or move along the water swiftly and get to the other side. Hmm, interesting, here we go. All right, let's see what happens. I'm predicting he will melt. I'm predicting because this is a soft cookie, it's softer than some gingerbread cookies, that he will dissolve or melt away quickly. And I'm thinking that he will break up into big pieces, chunks. And I didn't think about the water. What changes do you think would happen to our water? It's clear and fresh and clean right now. Do you think there'll be changes to the water? You can also predict about that. All right, here we go, ready, set, up, going in. Whoa, here he is, he's floating. I know you can see, oh, he's floating. That's another thing you can say. Will the gingerbread cookie float or sink? Now he's sinking. Let's make it a river. He's still solid. Oh boy, I'm floating. Oh no, I'm starting to see a few changes. Can you see the water? It's getting light brown. It's like a golden color. Can you see that change? Oh, I see a few, and maybe you see a few chunks, but they're not big chunks. My prediction was big chunks. He's dissolving, but you know what? It's taking longer than I thought. I thought he would be already chunking up now. Uh-oh, part of his head's coming off. Oh, no! He's swimming underwater, but he doesn't have a snorkeling gear on, so that could be a problem. I'm going to actually touch the cookie and see. 
Oh boy, it's definitely spongy. And if I pick it up, boy. Oh no! Definitely melting away. Let me put him back in there. Hmm. He is so soft and melty. There are a few bigger chunks, but most of the chunks that are coming off, this chunk is staying pretty good together. That's his belly area, his trunk. But most of the gingerbread cookie is in small pieces. Look at the color of the water. So I definitely think the results are what we predicted. We did think he would melt away. It actually didn't take that long. It probably took less than a minute. I didn't start my timer watch, but definitely the results happened pretty quickly. Now he is still in one big chunk. His trunk, his trunk is in one big chunk. Oh boy, I picked that up and he went the way of all gingerbread cookies. He melted if he went in water for sure. Definitely. I'm going to wipe my hand off. Now, when you're doing this experiment and you're thinking about the results, you would also write down after your prediction, you would write down what you what actually occurred. And you would want to use your details. Now, if your writing skills are, if you're younger, I do have another suggestion. You could draw out your um, before, during, and after. So this little experiment, it actually comes from Amy Lowe's, and she has a website, Mrs. Lowe's Kind uh, Kindergarten Corner Blogspot. So that's where I got this gingerbread science experiment. And you can draw out what your gingerbread cookie looks like before, and then uh, what he looked like after, um, what you, you predict before and after. Your, those are your predictions. And then you could actually draw the results, the pieces. So you could draw this out, and then you could write down I was correct or incorrect. So there's a lot of ways to, to uh, explore science, but you definitely need to log down or write down the information. What was your question? What do you predict is going to happen? And why do you think it's going to happen? And then the results, that's really important. And of course, you can definitely change up this experiment. I really encourage you to try different temperatures of water. You could even get a thermometer and test out the different, um, different cookies in different temperatures and see what the results are. Because this water was warm and the cookie did dissolve really quickly. You can get a timer, you can get a thermometer, and you can really have fun with this experiment. It's a, an experiment for the whole family. Preschool kids can do this, older kids can do this, and you can really put to work the scientific exploration and the scientific method and have fun at Christmas with your learning, for sure. All right, the only other thing left to do, if you have leftover gingerbread cookies, is don't melt them all. Definitely enjoy these cookies. Go have a snack that you worked really hard, scientist. All right, until our next time together, as always, keep asking questions, and experimenting and logging your results. Okay, until our next time together, have a good one.